let's look at some examples of the substitution method of solving systems of equations with two equations and two unknowns. I'm looking at exercise 24 of section 6.4 on page 486. The system we're looking at is x plus 2y equals minus 2 and 2x minus 3y equals 5. So using the substitution method, our first step is to pick one of the two equations and solve that particular equation for one of the variables. Let's pick equation 1 and let's solve for x simply because it's going to be easiest to solve equation 1 for x. All we're going to have to do is subtract 2y. If we solved equation 1 for y, we'd have to move the x over, then divide by 2. And similarly, if we were to solve equation 2 for x or y. So, make the choice that's easiest. In this case, it's solving, as I stated before, equation 1 for x. And in doing so, we get that x is equal to minus 2y, excuse me, minus 2 minus 2y, subtracting 2y from both sides. And we shall call this equation 3. Our next step is to use this new equation in all the remaining unused equations. So in this case, that would be equation 2, because we used equation 1 to get equation 3, and we've left 2 untouched. So using this in equation 2, we get 2 times, not x, but minus 2 minus 2y instead of x and then we proceed uh, to copy down the rest of equation 2 minus 3y equals 5 we'll simplify by distributing the 2 first to get minus 4 minus 4y minus 3y equals 5. Now on the left we should be able to combine minus 4y and minus 3y to get minus 7y. Now if we keep going and solve for y we are going to add 4 to both sides and then arrive at the conclusion that y must be minus 9 over 7. So once we have this piece of information, we've got half of our answer. We know what y is supposed to be, so we will, as I call it, back substitute to find out what the correct value of x is in this exercise. Now we could substitute this value of y into equation 1 or equation 2, but the easiest thing to do is to put it back into equation 3. Because then we're just doing arithmetic. We don't have any algebra to do here. So we have x equals minus 2 minus 2 times minus 9 over 7. And minus 2 times minus 9 over 7, 2 we can write as 2 over 1. So a minus times a minus is a positive. 2 times 9 is 18. And 1 times 7 is 7. So we're going to need 
common denominators in order to combine these two fractions. And the least common denominator between 1 and 7 is going to be 7. So we'd have to multiply top and bottom here by 7. 1 times 7 is 7. 2 times 7 is 14. So minus 14 over 7 plus 18 over 7 is going to be a positive 4 over 7. This is the value for x that we've arrived at. And the value for y, as we found earlier, was minus 9 sevenths. And I'll just note here, this was substituting back into equation 3. And, oh, excuse me, rather equation 2. And this here was substituting the value of y into equation 3. <coughs> and this will end up being our solution. And if you wish, you can check. And that's kind of the nice part about these systems of equations, is that it's relatively easy to check whether or not you have the correct answer. You just plug in the values for x and y into both equations and see if both equations end up being true. And all that needs for this to fail is for one of the equations to be false. We don't need both. Just one of them failing means we've got the wrong answer. So in equation one, we're curious if 4 sevenths plus 2 times minus 9 sevenths is really minus 2. Well, doing the arithmetic here, we have 4 sevenths plus a minus 18 sevenths. That gives us a minus 14 sevenths. And this is indeed another name for minus 2. And you can do the same kind of check in equation 2 to see if 2 times 4 sevenths minus 3 times minus 9 sevenths is indeed equal to 5. And here we have 8 sevenths plus, what's that going to be, 27 sevenths, that is 35 sevenths, and that is exactly 5. So, this is indeed the correct solution. Now let's take a look at, say, Example number 32, or rather exercise 32, in this section. Here, we're told that x equals 3y minus 1 and 2x minus 3y is equal to 7. So, labeling these equations, so it's easier to refer to them in these notes here. Our first step, we need to pick an equation and solve for a variable, but this is already done. Equation 1 is already solved for x, because x is by itself in equation 1. And we're lazy. We like to minimize the amount of work that we need to do. So we'll just leave equation one as it is. And step two, we'll use equation one in equation two, our unused equation, if you will, and replace x in equation two with 3y minus one. 
So we get 2 times 3y minus 1. Then we'll subtract 3y, and this should get us 7. And this is just a new way of writing equation 2, seeing that x is 3y minus 1. We can simplify this to get 6y minus 2 minus 3y equals 7. Well, 6y minus 3y is 3y. We can't combine the 3y and the minus 2, but we can move the minus 2 to the other side by adding 2 to both sides and getting 9. And so we're left with the conclusion that y is equal to 3. Well, we'll use this in our back substitution. to find out the correct value for x. And we can substitute this back into either equation 1 or equation 2, but it'll be easier to use equation 1. So we'll say that x is not 3 times y, but 3 times 3 minus 1. So this is just now a new way of writing equation 1 seeing that y we now know to be 3. So we have x is 9 minus 1, which is 8. So the solution is that x equals 8 and y is equal to 3. And I'll leave you to check that this is indeed the correct answer. <clears throat> Let's do one more, hopefully a little bit quicker. On exercise 34, we're looking at the system 2x plus y is equal to 2, and then 3x minus y is equal to minus 7. So we'll label the top equation as equation 1, the bottom as equation 2, and I'm going to pick, in our first step, I'm going to choose to solve for y in equation 1. And simply because I think that's going to be easier. All we'll have to do is subtract 2x from both sides, and we'll get y equals 2 minus 2x. And we'll label this as a new equation, kind of intermediate step, and use this in equation 2 the one we haven't used yet, the equation we haven't used yet. So we'll use this by saying that instead of writing equation 2 down as it is here, we'll use this new information about y, that y is in fact 2 minus 2x, to rewrite equation 2 in a slightly new way. We can simplify to get 3, 3x minus 2 plus 2x equals minus 7. So 3x plus 2x is 5x. We can't combine 5x and minus 2, they aren't like terms, so we will have to add 2 to both sides, leaving us with 5x is minus 5, and finally we get half of our answer, namely that x is minus 1. Well, we can now use this to find out what y is supposed to be. And let's go ahead and plug that into 
equation 3 to get that y is now equal to 2 minus 2 times not x because we now know x is supposed to be minus 1 so we get y is 2 plus 2 or 4 so our solution to this system is that x equals minus 1 and y is equal to 4.